Marco has all of the information. Oh my god. He just needs to wait. This is incredible. Spots at one, spots at two. I think he got. Oh no, he didn't. JW's about to go down, and he spins right. Taco takes the kill, picks up the AK 47, and he finds another kill. So Taco, can he pull it back right at the final second? And this would be a heartbreak away for Fnatic to lose. So they pulled all the way back to the 12 3 deficit, and that does happen. 16. Wall. Fnatic waiting for a to come into his crosshairs, and there it is. Man advantage picked up. The Jisk is fault bit to that aid. Doesn't clear the corner. FNS finds the first, so a two-man lead, but it's still only automatic here as he gets the first. Looks for a bit more, he knows there's a player up close, and automatic just finds time here, gets another! No, it was Tarek to find that frag! That must have been through the smoke, but automatic does close the round out. He shot just as Tarek stole the kill away from him. But here we go, round 26, Cloud9 back to a buy. They really need this win, and look at the aggression, the spray does so much damage! Magis gets all three frags, and this round is already over and done with. I did a moment with you right now, we did it tomorrow, so at that point I can really bring up hard hitting stats. The money information as Nitro is taken down and we sit next to the AK 47. There it is, a leash. Now gives them some. But they've got control of the pits. They've got it just locked in the side. The mix has rotated over a AK timing is everything. The peak is off for the Zipix has gone the long way, bought down the site. He knows all he has to do is hold the angle. Elige has to duel and has to win the duel. He's been impressive in this round. He's got three kills so far, but it's not enough to win it. And it's 12 0 for Astralis. A destination. And it looks as though FaZe have gathered a good amount of information so far. You can see Nico will get that flash from Guardian. Good enough for the peak onto Steel in middle, and that's going to trigger the push here for Luminosity. They have to go now, but another one atop the smoke from Rain, and that will really stifle the effort of Luminosity as they continue to make their way forward. And Nico in pure Nico fashion will finish off the round. Beautiful 4K from him. Very nice stuff, man. This has had to win the 1v1, and now Kenny S on 22 health. We saw his troubles earlier in the rounds, but it will nail Rain. Oh, that is fantastic from Kenny. We've seen so many highlights from this bombsite from him, and maybe this is going to be another one as they fake the plants and try to draw Kenny S out, but he is buying so much time for his team. This is where there could be a flank. He finds Carrigan first, though, instantly looking. Where is Nico? I'm sure he's lurking somewhere. Nico has to move forward now, trying to bait the shot, and he did bait it. It could have been a very different game. So the move on here. See Zezar doing some damage so far. But nothing Nico can't have. Those these players are on a force fight. Hell, capitalizing for getting traded. Guardian still alive with 20 HP. And PKL on the wrong side of the map. Two players in the middle area. So what can he really look to get out of this? You have to assume the MAC-10 is in mid rather than the AK that was picked off earlier on. The art to keep control of that. 50 seconds left for five FaZe Clan players. Make it four. Guardian picked off through the smoke. Now three of the four are heading towards B. Use kit either, so I feel like there's a high percentage where they just go to their doom here. Carrigan, I think he might have done enough rain now. The last man, four kills for Kenny in this round, holding the bomb now for a 10 second defuse. And Smith can't get the frag. <gasps> oh! The reload is there, but surely he's won the round. Here's the flank we were talking about. Here's the kills, two of them, as he falls back and pulls it into a two versus two. Automatic and rush are very low as well, and another kill from JW. These pistols making so much space. He's got a one versus three, and he won't find the last kill. Four there kills. There we go, JW, oh. another kill for him. Just stays around in the toilets. And now it's a four versus three. He falls back, JW gets caught in the open, but Flush is there for the trade. Still the Fnatic nice. players coming from Connector. Skadoodle could have been in trouble, but Exist won't get here in time. Step, but they don't know he is here. Skadoodle could find one frag for free. Golden's gonna get towards the bomb, but Exist will be caught in the back. And Skadoodle can try to play the time now. The smoke comes in, can Skadoodle get the spray? He needs the frag, and he is gonna find it. 14-14. Fnatic have just opened up that bomb tank to flush it. They will try and make their way through. Crim's now the last player as Tank chimes in. So, Crim's, this is doable. I mean, he's in a one versus three. He's find the first. He's an incredible player that clutches. There goes another one. Three kills fine so far. What? And one more to find. Tarek doesn't oh. spot him out. And it's Crim's to take it. Oh, it should be a meat grinder for Skadoodle. He's going to walk by the corner. MP9. All five oh. kills. It's a quick hit from Skadoodle. And that's the right. Meanwhile, it's over toward the brown halls that Zipix is ready at range with a UMP to take down Chrome. And a device gets in position to support oh. that. Second shot he landed in the round on Guardian, likewise on Rain. So all of the damage applied by him, no assist required for the scout and a headshot to the edge of the train. On there is a shadow given away from this angle, but the fight's not do anything about it. 
Two versus one now, they know where Taco is. Both players moving into the sites. He's trying to have an off angle if in, in case he's pushing the dark position. But the case that gamble's not paid off. Taco looks for the touch. He makes it work. A 3k from Taco. It did not look very doable. He but, down, but he's got time to reload back all the way to the top position. Elevates himself to get shot in the leg. That's three kills on B. F2 could have blocked off some of the choke points. But look at the timing here. Just darting in. They know that. Right now, Liquid are trying to dart across to get the bomb planted, and in that moment, maybe there's a chance to get a quick known. It's the fighting Liquid. Nitro can't connect though. Back to the CZ. Oh, that's so nice from that guy. One more to go. The orb is out though for device, and that makes it happen. Crisp CZ play from him. And I bet you he's not smiling at all. Absolute beast. Reset there on a leash as he jumps up onto the stones. Zipex though will execute the remainder of the bomb sites. Astralis are your ECS Season 5 Champions! This is the moment of Astralis. This is their trophy. We saw how hyped up Glaive was. They knew this was in their destiny, that this was written in the stars. The topless men come to celebrate. <laughs> Maybe we can get an explanation later on, but there it is, Astralis, once again.